Greetings everyone, Eric here and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to use Vector to help out with your shading. Right, so back when I did a video about using Vector uh, for line art and such like that, someone had asked me if I could show them how to do, uh, how I could use Vector to help with shadows. Now, this is actually a very common thing with animation, especially in the digital age. So this should actually be really, um, really straightforward. Uh, but what we're going to do here is I'm going to create my shadows layer. So this is where shadows are actually going to be. And then above that, I'm going to create a new vector layer. And this vector layer has only one purpose, and that is just to outline where I want the vector stuff to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a blue color. And you'll notice this uh, even in animation. They usually use blue to symbolize where they want shadows to go. And they use red, I believe, for showing where they want highlights to go. And so what we can do with this is I can take my one of my pens. This is just animation pen because this is what I use when I uh, uh, ink animations and stuff. And what we can go in and we can outline where I want shading to be now. I'm thinking of having the shading go this way because that's just kind of my default way. So it's coming in from the uh, top uh, left of his face or of the image. Technically, it's his right. And so what I'm going to do here is because this is going to cast a big old shadow across his head, we're going to just do something like this. And I'm going to keep this super simple, super basic, nothing crazy because I'm a lazy son of a gun. Uh, for this, we're just going to do something like this, just for some fun. Let's do something for his nose here. So for his nose here, we'll do something like this, since this will actually cast a shadow all the way like that. For under here, we can do a nice little shadow there, but then also keep that shadow going. Since um, his lip's going to curve a little bit, he will also have... Um, because technically with this, if I were to go to... Let's see, do I have a... If I have a sketch layer real quick. Technically with shading, because of the way your lip is, because this is like... That area, which... Yeah, I put that a little too low, because then you would also have this area up here. Um, this would have a line here, because that's where it peaks before it goes back in. So it'd be like kind of like this. And so all of this, well, <laughs> all of this would be kind of in shadow as well. And also technically this would be in shadow. So if we were to come in here, I could do a little bit of a shadow here. And if I want to, I can do something like that. And just for funs, let's extend this here and get a little bit of a shadow there for his head his head's going to cast a big old shadow kind of across this whole area honestly so let's create a nice little shadow so first we're going to figure out where the lighting is going to be so the lighting would probably be if i were to turn that back on and let me just switch over to my pencil because I actually want to pencil this in just to kind of think. Let's see. So technically we're going to have kind of a shadow area going across his whole body like this. Casting some type of weird anomalous shadow, something like that. So honestly, if we really wanted to get really cool and have some fun with it, we could do something like this, and then have that stick out. So something like that, which that's already taken care of. That's pretty much all taken care of, although for funsies, we can continue this shadow like that. Let's have a little fun here, since that's a big old curving point. And then what we can do is we can take that, since we have that now, I can go in here, and actually create an interesting shadow shape out of that. 
actually what we can do is for this we can just do whoop do that show that cut here And a lot of these shapes can just be mostly randomized. Um, I like doing it that way. Nothing here has to be super precise. Just think of where your shadows should go. And remember, shadows always go opposed to the light. Now, let's... Okay. And that should be more than enough to get us where we're going. Now... Here's the important part. How can we use these lines for our shadow layer down here? Well, we switch over to our bucket tool and pick our shadow color, which what I do is I use a um, kind of a in the reds area. Uh, sometimes I'll use something a little bit more in the purple area. It depends on like my mood, but usually around here, let's use like a purpley color, but usually a very grayish purpley-ish color. I have it go over top of the colors layer on a shadow layer that is set to multiply. And so that means it'll add on to those colors. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that fill up to vector path and include in uh, vector path are turned on. Um, as well as making sure this thing takes into consideration everything else that's going on. And basically what happens is when I click, it stops right there. And I can go in and I can just do stuff like this. Add all the shading. I have that set to expand by one point. Get rid of that. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, that was a nice fill. And just like that, we filled in our shading. And then all I have to do is boop. And there you go. Shadows. Um, obviously, this should probably be a lot bigger. It should be crossing more of his body, but. That's beside the point. I just wanted to do this as a fun little example for you guys so that you could see how to do this. And it's very simple to use. Now, as you can see here, there's a little bit of a jagged edge just because of how the filling works. But if you want to get rid of that, just stay on that layer. Go to Filters, Blur, Smooth. I have that set to the F5 key. And adds a little bit of smoothing. Um, but that's up to you how you want to work with that. Um, but yeah, just something I want to do really quickly just because I got a comment on it. And so I thought, hey, that would actually make a decent video. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you did, make sure you hit thumbs up. If you enjoy my content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Check the descriptions for all of my social media links as well as all the other stuff I do. And leave a comment below on whether you find this helpful as well as any other things that you might want to know. Um, especially with like something like Clip Studio Paint um, that you would like some help on or maybe some character drawings and stuff like that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!